Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Bibliophiles. Today I'm going to be talking about Tribulations by Ken Schuffeld, or whatever. <clears throat> this is a, this is a, I think this is a, a prequel, I mean a sequel to um, another novel called Genesis. And, um, <clears throat> well essentially the, um, <clears throat> Where like the world, like the Earth is destroyed by an asteroid storm, and then it, this is the takes place after that, and um, um, well, um, starts. There's this uh, ship that becomes uh, stranded on an alien planet, and we have to like, there's like materials and stuff that we need to fix the ship, so they need to like, uh, you know, have to make deals and stuff with the various native factions of this alien planet. And, um, well, the first off is, um, I should talk about just how very unimaginative the aliens are, because really the only information we ever get on them is, um, they say that, like, uh, oh, this species, this, this kingdom is you know, exactly like Norse culture. This species over here is exactly like this other culture. You know, um, we never actually get any details on what any of the aliens actually look like, except for like one, the, which is like this queen who's like the villain. And, um, well, um, well, like if, I'd almost think that these aliens are basically just humans. Like, they, they don't even bother trying to make them look alien in any way, shape, or form. They're just, um... Like, I'd, I'd almost think they were just basically humans, like in the old-school style 1960s Star Trek kind of aliens where they look exactly like humans. And, um... And of course, like there's the culture that's just unimaginative because all we get is they were they look like this culture from ancient Earth's history, you know. Um, then there's um, then there's uh, there's this um, like the none of the characters are interesting at all. The villain is like transparently evil, but in addition to being extremely evil and like killing their own killing her own men like at the drop of a hat um there's also the um, it also like dies in one of the most anticlimactic ways i've ever seen the um but like i said um yeah, yeah like i said she like kills her own men like just without even bothering to think about it which is just stupid because the whole point of having a villain that kills his or her own men is supposed to be like scary and make them add like a sense of menace and dread to them because you know either a they'd be um they'd um they'd have like a zero tolerance for failure and they would just kill anybody who fails which makes you fear for the lives of some of the bad guys because if they fail they're gonna die or It'll show that they're willing to do anything to get at whatever goal they have, even if it means killing their own, even if it means sacrificing it at any amount of their own men. <clears throat> and, um, and there are also some moments where it's like, um, where like the Genesis, the ship that they came in on, has like a whole lot of guns and stuff, and you would wonder how the hell they do that, especially since I think it's supposed to be like a scientific vessel. Or, you know, studying science and stuff. And um, then there's um, another, like, brief moment where there's, um, let's say, um, oh yeah, there's a, there's like another meteor storm that's heading towards um, the planet. And, like, the ship is badly, their ship is Genesis badly damaged and they, have to, and it, it actually just blows up and they decide that they need to build a new ship but then again how are you gonna do that because you can't just build a ship out of nothing okay like they, they set up a base and stuff and they have like a small operation but the way they it seems like the, these guys operate so efficiently that they can like 
move most of the population of entire cities from one place to the next. Like there's um, where they uh, build a like a large fleet of balloon ships, and they like this is like after the there's like this um, coup and the Nubian Empire, and I forgot what the other one is called. Um, and um, they try and, and they still like build, a, they're not able to get all, all of them, but they're able to get about like several hundreds of thousands of, of uh, civilians off in these balloon ships, which what I can tell they built only in like maybe a couple months or a few months. And um, it's like, that's kind of ridiculous, don't you think? Also... And if that weren't enough, there's like the, the meteor that's about to crush the or destroy most of the world and they need to like build a new ship. And they, they kind of build like this rudimentary type thing where it's like basically just a, a rocket with a bomb attached and they go and like set off this huge explosion to cause it to slow down and deter and but um but then like something happens to them. What they say is um, a star that went supernova turned into a black hole and that altered the meteor's course and now instead of um, going in and instead of uh, hitting the planet in like 11 months it goes down to 5 months and uh, I'm sorry but like there's a difference between alter and speed up okay there's um and um and in order for this to um like alter it in order to speed it up the black hole would have to actually be somewhere in the solar system and if that were the case i would think the black hole in this sto in your star system would be a much bigger worry than some meteor you know <laughs> and um you know, just overall, the characters are not interesting, although likable, kind of. The, um, they're just bland. The villain is ex just so evil that you can't really believe in her as an actual character. Um, there seemed to be a lot of um, this weird stuff that just ruined the whole thing for me. Like, there's some stuff that I liked on just on the whole of it. But for the most part, you know, you have the villain that's, you know, dies in a very anticlimactic and disappointing manner. And um, it's just not really an enjoyable thing that I can see myself ever really recommending to anybody. Rating is like two star, two out of five. There's some stuff that I liked, but on the whole, it just sucked. It sucked hard. And, um, oh, well, yeah. Anyway, um, till next time, I'm your host, um, uh, saying, oh, see you later.